Hi everyone, today we're at the Mather Tomb in Boston's second oldest cemetery, Copps Hill Cemetery. And the Mathers, the tomb at which we're in front of, were Puritan ministers in the 1600s. The father, Increase Mather, and his son, Cotton Mather, are both buried here. And in the 1600s, the Puritan ministers made the law. Cotton Mather is known for his participation in the Salem Witch Trials of 1692. At that time, he allowed for the use of something called spectral evidence in court. And what that meant is if somebody had a hallucination or a vision, it could be used as actual evidence in a court. And in the case of the witch trials, there were young girls who were accusing people of being witches and claiming that these people were sending things like red birds to attack them. And no one could see these red birds except the young girls. But considering they were spectral evidence, they were used and using this sort of thing, 19 people were hanged, one man was pressed to death, and countless people died in jail awaiting their trials, just due to the bad conditions. Now later in his life, Cotton Mather recanted the idea of spectral evidence. He agreed that it was no such thing, but unfortunately it was too late for the victims of the Salem witch trials. However, his father, Increase Mather, is the ghost known to haunt Copps Hill Cemetery. He's been seen appearing in his black robes, very upright and scary, following people around the cemetery. That is one ghost I would not want to see. He was scary enough in real life. That's today's Ghastly Dispatch. Remember to follow us on YouTube, Life and Death's YouTube channel for updates, and we'll see you tomorrow with another story.